Phase 1 XT. What is this camera, really? First of all, as you can tell, I'm not native speaker and this is my first ever English spoken video. So pardon my French. I'm trying my best. But I thought uh, this camera is so unique that I would give it a try in, Eng in, in, in English as well. Because normally my videos are in Czech as I'm from Czech Republic. So let's see what's gonna happen. Let's start this video with some questions that I have regarding the Phase 1 XT and Phase 1 in general. Is it expensive? Yes. How much? Yes. How many frames per second? Almost two. How many autofocus points does it have? None. It's only manual. Then why is it so special? Well, let's talk about it. The XT has some really cool features that makes it so special. First of all, the body can be shifted horizontally and vertically. In the back, of course, you have the digital back these days uh, with a resolution up to 150 megapixels. And I could try that one with the classical one and with the achromatic black and white. The lenses, the quality of the lenses is really insane because they are made for large format cameras by Rodenstock. And as you can see here, that is the lens. And in here, that is the Shutter X from phase one. The lineup of the lenses these days, it started with 28, 32, there is a new 40 with the tilt. So we have shifts and tilt as well. Then there is 50, 70, 90. The body of the camera looks like this and it's very simple yet very effective and it's very light. Connectors in the back for the DB, connectors for the shutter and the lens in front, electronic shutter and the shifts. Interesting is the footing here, which you can mount on the tripod if you have a compatible tripod with Arca Swiss, so you don't have to mount any extra plates in, uh, in, on, in here. You can also easily turn the camera vertically or horizontally. And that's it. The real fun starts when you take the digital bag out of the XF and you put it on the XT. And then it's a totally new digital bag. It automatically detects the XT. And then you're shooting only through the display in here. It doesn't have any viewfinder. And that's it. You just set up the quality, you set up the right exposure and you're good to go. Anyway, there are some cool functions of the DB and that is dual exposure, automatic bracketing, uh, time-lapse and most of all frame averaging. The frame averaging is like witchcraft to me. You have your right exposure, but on top of it, you can leave the DB open for minute, two, five, ten, whatsoever. And the DB will do another, let's say in a minute, it will do another 175 photos, which it will automatically connect together and you have one raw file. And you have the effect of an ND filter, which you don't have to have. Anything that moved is going to be blurred, like clouds, water, anything that was moving in it like people they are gone but anything that stood still would be sharp as hell anytime i see someone with an xt they they are shooting landscapes of course it's perfect for that it's light it's simple there is no cables needed to have it uh, the, to, to connect the lens with the with the back it's perfect for that let me show you one of my favorite spots when I think of landscape photography because this geological monument is so photogenic that you can 
come back several times and find a new angle. There's a new light, uh, new clouds, and you can always have a new photo. Mission aboard. Uh, rain has come. So, <laughs> better next time. But thanks to its shifting options, it's perfect for architectural photography. Right behind my back is a quite special building. The cover of it is made out of glass because this is a headquarters of a company called Lasvid. And maybe you're a fan of uh, Tour de France. So Lars Kemper in here made the design of the trophy, which is now in tour for several years. I also think that it is great for shooting cars, motorcycles and anything that is in this technical kind of way of photography. In this frame, the legends from Czech Republic, Sweden and Denmark. I just love it. <laughs> so we have landscapes, architecture, car industry, but I wouldn't stop there. I think this camera is also perfect for portraits. And I remember when we were shooting with the large format cameras in, uh, in a school. Uh, so I set up the studio in here and I tried to shoot my family and I was pretty amazed how the XT performed. The only problem I had was with the focus. People are moving out and in from the focusing area. So I just had to put on the bigger apertures and that did it. So which kind of photographer will benefit of having this camera? Of course, pixel peepers, because you can zoom in freely days, months, weeks and have uh, still a lot of details. But honestly, it's for anyone who needs quality. Maybe you print large prints and you need the best quality there is. So then the phase one or phase one XT is uh, for you. And don't worry, you don't have to own it. You can rent it for some special projects. Thank you for staying with me. Uh, this is it. That was a brief look at the phase one XT. And please hit the like button. Please subscribe. I promise if there is going to be anything special that would come my way in the camera world, in the camera industry, I would make again an English video. And now I'm going back to the field with a field camera to shoot some more. Take care.